Hi, I'm musician First Class Ashley Lease with the United States Navy Band. Today, I'm going to help you get started on the flute. The flute has three parts, the head joint, the body, and the foot joint. To learn how to create a sound on the flute, we are going to start by working just with the head joint. The top of the head joint is called the crown. This is the lip plate, which as you can see, is larger on the side that rests against your chin. The hole in the middle of your lip plate is called the amateur hole. And sound is created on the flute when air passes over and into this hole. To practice making a sound on the head joint, hold your head joint so that the crown is on the left and the open end is on the right. This is where the rest of your flute will go when it is fully assembled. Next, bring the head joint up to your face and blow across this hole. Do not get frustrated if you are not able to make a sound on your first attempt. This is extremely common with beginner flute players. Many things can affect your ability to make a sound on your head joint, including the air speed, the angle of the air, and the placement of the head joint on your face. If the head joint is too high, too low, too far to the left, too far to the right, turned in too much, or turned out too much, you might not be able to make a sound at all. I highly suggest practicing in front of a mirror with your head joint until you are able to find a spot on your face that enables you to make a sound, a good sound, every time. Once you are able to make a nice strong sound on your head joint every time, then we can assemble the flute. Beginning with the body of the flute, Grab the body of the flute by the top or barrel. That way you're not crushing the mechanism with your hands as that could damage the flute. Next, take your foot joint and gently twist it onto the bottom of the flute, lining up this rod in the foot joint with the middle of the keys on your mechanism. Finally, Take your head joint and gently twist it onto the top of the body of the flute. Do not push the head joint in all the way. It should be pulled out approximately a quarter of an inch. Line up the amateur hole in your head joint with the approximate center of the keys on the body of the flute. This will enable a placement um, that will be most similar to the placement that you had when you are just working with the head joint by itself. Now I will show you how to hold the flute, starting with your left hand. The thumb of your left hand goes around the back of the flute and is in charge of these two keys. Your index finger on your left hand remains in constant contact with the body of the flute. It is one of the three points of constant contact on your flute that help to balance the weight of the instrument. Your, your index finger is in charge of this key right here on the front. Not this key, this one. Your middle finger goes over this key. Again, not that one, but this one. Ring finger goes here, and then your pinky is in charge of that key. Your right hand should have a nice natural curve to it when it's on the body of your flute. And the thumb goes underneath, helping to support the weight of the instrument. The index finger on your right hand goes right here, next to where there's a little lever key. It goes on this key. Then you will skip that trill key, put your middle finger here, ring finger here,
And then your pinky is in charge of all of the keys that are on the foot joint, although it is most typically resting just right here on that key. Finally, bring your flute up to your face so that you have the same placement on the head joint that you had when we were just working with it by itself. It's going to feel very different than just working on the head joint by itself. Now I want you to balance the flute on the three points of contact, which are the chin, the index finger of your left hand, and the thumb of your right hand. These three contact points should be able to balance the entire weight of the flute, enabling your fingers to be nice and light and free so that they can move quickly, which will be very important as you become more technically proficient on the instrument. Now I want us to try playing a note on the fully assembled flute. We'll start with a B natural. To finger B natural, your left hand thumb should be on this key. Your left hand index finger will be right here. The rest of the fingers on your left hand are up, but still keep them close to the key. On the right hand, the only finger that's down is the pinky, and it is on this key. Now bring the entire flute to your face. Take a deep breath, but keep your shoulders relaxed and aim your air right across the Amisher hole to play a B natural. If you get tired of playing the B natural, you can easily go from B natural to A by simply adding the middle finger on your left hand to the fingering that you already have down for B natural. Practice going back and forth between B natural and A natural, keeping your airstream strong and steady and smooth. There is no need to stop the air just because your fingers are moving. Again, do not get frustrated if you cannot produce a clear sound on your first lesson. Tone development takes time patience, persistence, and of course, practice. It is not something that happens overnight. Thank you for joining me in this brief beginner flute lesson. I hope the basics we covered today will help you have a better understanding of how to get started on the flute. Thanks for watching.